Hey, welcome to the show. Here we have a four digit number divided by a two digit number. Don't worry, we're gonna take it easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. If you think you can go ahead and do this problem, hit that pause button. And when you're ready to check it with me, hit the play button. All right, let's go ahead and start this. Up here I have a couple things that might help you. I have how many times, and then our next step is multiply. Third step is subtract. Fourth step is bring it down. So how many times can I put 37? So right here I'm doing this. How many times can I put 37 into four? Can I put it into four? I'm using this piece of paper so it makes this big number not so confusing. I can't do it, can I? So I move this paper over. Can I put 37 into 45? Yes, you can. How many times? What I like to do is I like to do a little figuring over on the side and I'm just gonna write down a couple multiplication facts of 37. So I'm gonna put 37 times two. So seven times two is 14, carry the one. Three times two is six, plus the one is seven. And let's do another one. 37 times three. Seven times three is 21, carry the two. Three times three is nine, 10, 11. And for right now, I'm just gonna keep it at that. I might need to go a little more, but let's go ahead and just keep it right there. I can't do twos, that's too much. I'm just gonna put down one. And I put the one right above that five. So now it's one and I'm multiplying. One times 37 is 37. Put the 37 there and go ahead and subtract. Okay, that's our next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract. I need to borrow because that number is too small. So I make that a three and this will be a 15. 15 minus seven would be eight. And now our next one is bring it down. It's, 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 it's. Bring it down, bring it down, right there. And then we start it all over again. How many times can I put 37 into 85? Can I do it three times? No, too much. Can I do it two times? Yeah, that'll be 74. So let's put a two right here. Make sure your numbers are neat. Two times 37, I'm multiplying. Two times 37, two times 37 equals 74. So I put 74 right here. Subtract. So five minus four is one. Eight minus seven is one. Now don't get worried if you have a number like this, all right? Because there's no way you could put 37 in here. What's our next step? Bring it down. Boom, right there. So how many times, you know, starting all over again, how many times can I put 37 into 111? Here's our answer, three. Right here, three. Isn't that cool? So three times 37 equals 111. Subtract, zero remainder. You do not have to put remainder zero right there. So, hey, would you like to try one more? I got another one for you. Let's do it. Okay, now um, on these, I made it so that there's no remainder. So I kind of made it a little bit easy for you. Now that you had experience doing this problem, do you think you could go ahead and pause the video and see if you could do this one all by yourself? Now remember what I did. I did a couple problems right here to the side and I just took it slow and took each step as it went. All right, so go ahead and pause that uh, video and, and when you're ready to check out with me, hit the play button. All right, let's go ahead and begin. Right away, I'm just gonna take 15 and do some little figuring on the side 15 is pretty cool because um, 15 plus, uh, times two would be 30, and then 15 times three, which would be 30 plus another uh, 15, which would be 45, and then 15 times four, which would be 60. And then of course, let's just go ahead and do 15 times five. 15 times five, that'd be 60 plus another 15, which would be 75. 15s are pretty cool to do. All right, I'm gonna bring this paper out here just so you can see everything that's going on. So how many times, I'm gonna take my piece of paper here. Can I put 15 into two? <laughs> no, you can't. Can I put it into 20? Yes, you can. How many times? Uno, one. I'm gonna put the one right here. So here I'm going to multiply. One times 15 is 15. Then I subtract. You guys are math ninja pros. And then I have to 
borrow one from the two there, this is the 10, and so we have five. I bring the next number down. If you want to, you can do a little beatboxing when you do that. <laughs> Put the two right there. How many times, and we're right back here, how many times can I put 15 into 52? Let's see. I don't want to go over 52, so I can put 30. I can put 45, 60. No, we need to do 15 times three or three times 15. So I put the three right here. I'm going to multiply three times 15 equals 45. Subtract. So I need to borrow because that number is too small. That goes into a four. This is 12. So what would that be? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right. See how I did that? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this is seven. And now what do I do? I just got done subtracting. I bring the next number down. <clears throat> Boom, right there. So now I start all over. How many times can I put 15 into 75? Do you see anything right here? Bingo, right down here. How many times? Five. So I put five right here. Five times 15 equals 75. Subtract, that's what we're doing here. And this would be a zero. And of course, do not put remainder zero. Just don't have to do it. This is our answer, 135. Hey, how'd you like that? These are kind of fun, aren't they? I really like doing division. And if you check out my uh, um, different video uh, channels, I have two educational channels. I do a lot of fun division problems on here. Um, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. Take a look at my other uh, videos. And like always, have a beautiful day out there. Get outside. Come on, get outside, play, have a good time. Leave some comments. I'm always reading comments. And uh, just uh, have a great day. Talk to you later. Be safe. Adios. Goodbye.